so delayed and has been so uh, has been a failure uh, in 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 my in my assessment of that project. But the original project was really a project of NADA PSA. May I ask the sponsor what's now the status on the PSA side because on the card printing side it's been canceled and I'm sure there'll be cases filed. What's now the status on the, from my understanding, which is the IT component side with uh, PSA? Okay, so currently, uh, we have 89,893,983 89, Filipinos registered. That is as of September 12th. I, I hope that you noticed that we brought the system here today, and that was just for you, Your Honor, because the last time um, I believe you made a manis manifestation at the DICT hearing, you said that you did not have a national ID. So we took note of that and wanted to make sure that your details would be captured today. So they set up the system here at the lobby. So we hope that you took advantage of their presence today, Your Honor. So for sure, the numbers would have increased as of today. And so this would be 97.7% of the 92 million target for registration. And uh, to, um, as of 12 September, 53,000, 53,712,583 ID cards had been delivered. Uh, I'm sorry, how, can you repeat that 53, again? 53,712,583 uh, ID speaker, cards I, had been delivered. I appreciate the, the efforts of uh, a sponsor, PSA. I wasn't able to avail of doing the biometrics. <laughs> I've been here the whole morning oh, it till will night. be there for one week. Okay, uh, I'll try to go there. I mean, I appreciate the effort, but I think more importantly, uh, it should be highlighted that that project has been, for a lack of a better term, a failure. It's three, four years delayed. Some billions of pesos have been appropriated and uh, used for the national ID system. In fact, in the last uh, budget hearing, the DICT, when I had asked about the national ID, I did a quick survey from colleagues and staff in the house. Many of us still haven't received their national ID, uh, despite the fact that we did the sign up. I personally did the sign up, I believe, before pandemic, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> and many of the staff here probably did so too. Some got their ID, some didn't. Uh, but having said that, I wanted to ask the sponsor, um, there's, who will now be printing IDs for the, you know, for the hard copy ID? Because they gave it to BSP, BSP fumbled it. Um, where will the for printing come from now? Uh, this so, so currently, um, there it is being bitted out. So they are looking for an alternative, a new provider. But uh, in the meantime, the DICT is providing digital IDs. So that is the situation at the moment. And uh, in addition, there is uh, an arbitration that is ongoing. It's a terrible story, uh, an ending saga of failure, and I could probably say it's, it's a fiasco. 
In the private sector, if somebody or if a team or a group failed in a project, there would be suspension, terminations. You'd be written up. So I'm curious, has NADA or PSA ever done any disciplinary action? Or have there been any findings internally why this project, even though we have appropriated sufficient funds, have been a dismal failure? Well, at this point, it's the BSP um, that is... It's, it's the BSP who is, that is, claiming liquidated damages from their service provider. Uh, I understand, Madam Chair. My but that, that's all at the moment. Yeah. I, I know it's a difficult question, but let me reiterate it. There's been a problem with BSP, but I think uh, NEDA PSA should also share some burden. It's been delayed. We all know that. I think no less than the president has complained, from what I know, both publicly and privately. Uh, no less than the president's exasperated on this, on this very good project. So my question, Madam Speaker, is, has anyone in NADA or PSA, it's the normal course of things, you, you would do a due diligence or an internal investigation and kind of determine where we failed, where we should improve. Because it can't just be, you know, yes, we're going to keep on doing it year after year, you know, it's the same question, same responses. So has there been any fact-finding any due diligence from PSA? And if so, were there any findings? Because other than learning you know, good lessons from a failed project, there should be some sort of, some sort of action taken, at least from within the department or within PSA. So the NEDA had the... Uh reported this to had reported this to the president and uh, and uh, the president had already ordered the DOJ and the OSG to take to look into the matter and uh, <coughs> and so the Termination of the contract. Oh, not sorry. That's not related. And so the OSG provided an opinion to the BSP. And that opinion is part of that arbitration. But, uh, okay, thank you for that. That's gives us some information. How about on the side of PSA? Has there been any fact-finding results, evaluation, opinions on any possible shortcomings on the PSA side? Yes, yeah, so at, at the moment, the PSA is of the belief that it is better it is better to do the digital national id that is according to the psa but i know where you're coming from their tor is to produce the physical id yes so this is a question that You've been asking me three straight years, Madam Speaker, Your Honor. And doesn't the sponsor agree that it's a fiasco? It's a failure. 
And I guess what, I mean, would it be a fair statement to say that it's been a failure of a project? Would I be too harsh to say that? Well, Madam Speaker, Your Honor, it is what it is. And it's we a, were it's, unable to... Is it a failure or a success? It cannot be a, a success. We were unable to complete the target. It resulted in arbitration. It did not result in a completion. So, and we are currently looking for an alternative. But, okay, I, I don't want to put the, my esteemed colleague too much on the spot because she's just responding for the agency. But is it correct that my understanding is the president has asked DOJ, the OSG, OSG for an opinion uh, on the BSP side, but how about on the PSA side, on the possible shortcomings, uh, despite what, four or five years now, billions of pesos, there hasn't been really a completion of the project. None on that matter. Should there be one? Madam Speaker. What, should there be one in terms of accountability, transparency, good governance, or better governance? Well, that's something that we can think about. So the sponsor doesn't believe there should be accountability on this project? We should always think about accountability. It's a very important project. And what does the Secretary of NADA have to say about that? Open to a third party review. Oh, thank you. Madam Speaker. Uh, Madam Speaker, I think that's a good idea. And uh, I would highly recommend that. And uh, I mean, I, I leave it up. You know, our, our job today is just to make sure that we're discussing budgets, appropriations, utilization. That's an implementation issue, and I'll leave it up to the wisdom of, the, of my distinguished colleague to push for that because she, you do sponsor that agency. And I support that suggestion of a third-party review.